Supernatural channel. Today we are doing a season 13 and 14 recap on Supernatural Roll. Alright, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so what episodes do you need to watch for season 13 are episodes 1, episodes 9, and episodes 23. Alright, um, so we left off with Sam meeting Jack um, from season 12. So then all of a sudden Dean comes, checks on that on the Nephilim and wants to kill the Nephilim because pretty much he's just distraught over everything that just happened. Cass just died. Crowley just died and even though I don't think he will even admit it to himself, I he did share a bond with Crowley. Um and so we then get he's also he really heavily thinks that um he uh his mom is dead right now, so he's just pissed at the Nephilim. He thinks that the Nephilim caused all of this, which the Nephilim kinda did. Anyway, so Jack runs away from Sam and Dean when he gets shot. Um, they eventually catch up to him, and Jack kind of like goes with them, and they they don't know how to kill him. They see his power, they see his potential, they see that he can't be necessarily killed by like normal ways that an angel can, so they're like, the only way we can do it is to try and guide him, and then try to figure out a way to kill him. Um, J Sam is the one who kind of sees his goodness at first. He's kind of the one who's like, oh, I think he could actually be a good person. It doesn't necessarily have to be like the Antichrist. Um, it takes Dean a while to warm up, because Dean is smart. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, even some of you guys might be like, wait, you always just have a blind side. I don't have blind side for Dean. It's just like, I just find it logical, his thinking. Granted, he does, he is really hard on the kid, so I will give you guys that. Um, eventually they warm up to the kid. Um, but anyways, while they're warming up to him, they kind of like, especially Dean, he's like, you killed Cass, and then like, um, Jack kind of ends up crying out into the universe and brings Cass back from nothing. So we see Cass in the empty, um, uh, and he actually annoys the empty so much that, like, the empty decides to let him go, which I found hilarious, because he's like, no one has ever been awake in the empty before, so, um, how are you awake? Anyways, um, Cass and Jack meet. It's a beautiful moment, but still, that's still not enough for Dean. And so, yes, I will give you guys this one that Dean was a little harsh on the kid, um, because he's still worried about his mom. So eventually, um, Jack leaves, um, the brothers, and he just wants to go out and do some good. He ends up opening a rift, <laughs> reopening the rift. Um, like, no, he ends up looking, finding a, um, a dreamwalker. Her name is Kaya. So you definitely have to remember Kaya, especially for season 15. So keep an eye. Remember Kaya. Kaya can, uh, go through dreams. She can even go through worlds and she keeps dreaming about this one place called the bad place. Um, so definitely remember that as well. Anyways, he's like, I can use you to go to the other universe, to the other world that I have opened up. Um, alright, so while all of this is going on, we also need to remember that there's this, uh, since Crowley's gone, we have a new king of hell. His name is As Asmodeus. Um, <laughs> and he is ruling all of hell. He even has Lucifer trapped with him. He manages to get Lucifer when, like, Lucifer escapes, um, from Bizarro. When Cass escapes with, uh, he ends up running into Lucifer there. They both kind of, like, end up escaping with Asmodeus. Asmodeus is, like, this cruel, like, vindictive. He's like a knight of hell. Um, and so when Lucifer jumped back into, like, our Earth realm, he became really weak, so he couldn't destroy his own Knight of Hell because Knights of Hell were created by Lucifer himself. Um, so as Asmodeus is trying just to rule everything, kind of doesn't work out. He's, he's a KFC character. Like, I'm not even kidding you. He looks like a KFC guy. And I just, I don't understand why Supernatural would give us this character at all. I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, the only important why I'm even mentioning Asmodeus is because he has Gabriel trapped. Um, so he ended up catching Gabriel after the apocalypse, and I'm talking about season five apocalypse, not like the darkness apocalypse. He ended up trapping Gabriel, um, and tormenting him and like stealing his grace and like, well, like not stealing his grace, but just like sucking up his grace. Um, anyways, uh, this is, this is important because they they end up when Jack finally tells, when Sam and Dean end up catching up to Jack and they meet with Kai and everything, they end up going to the other, world. So Jack actually ends up getting stuck in their mom's world. So then that's when they find, well, they later find out that Mary is alive and so is Jack in the other world. But Jack gets stuck there for a while. He's there with Mary for a while. Mary this whole time has been like with Bobby, has been tortured by Lucifer, everything, just everything has been kind of like happening with her. Um, so now like Dean and Dean kind of feels guilty for getting Jack trapped there. And now Kaya um, also is uh, trapped <laughs> there as well. Um, and so, and so pretty much they need Gabriel, uh, to, and Rowena, they use Gabriel and Rowena to kind of get them to, um, their, their mom and Jack. And then they also use Lucifer's grace. They end up, we need Archangel's grace. So they end up using Lucifer's grace. So then when Rowena is talking to Lucifer, Lucifer ends up break, cause they end up trapping Lucifer. He ends up breaking the trap, going to the, um, to the bizarre world with, 
uh, Sam and Dean and Gabriel and everybody's there. And so, and Castiel, that Castiel also got, goes there with them. Anyways, Jack meets Lucifer and he becomes curious about Lucifer, which I completely understand. I'm actually, weirdly enough, I'm not judging Jack for wanting to know more about his father, especially when he kind of just going into this world and can you imagine your father being Lucifer? So he's just completely lost. So Lucifer, of course, makes himself look good. Um, and so Jack believes him for a while until, uh, the, uh, the boys end up getting everyone out of the rift. They even get Bizarro, Bobby, Bizarro, Charlie, all out of that rift and rescuing everybody. So they rescue a total of like 25 people, including their like mom and Jack. And so they end up trapping, uh, Lucifer again in the rift. So then of course Lucifer's pissed. He wants to bond with his son. So he makes tricks to deal with the Michael of that universe. Yes, that Michael of that universe has won the apocalypse in that universe. So Michael's like, I want to actually hop, hop universes. So um, Lucifer tells him, tell you what, if we hop universes, you can, um, you can have everything, like the whole universe. And I just want my son. So that's the deal he strikes with Michael. So when they eventually come into this universe, like that's like the last episode. And when Jack finds this out, Jack is pissed. Um, because Lucifer wanted to bond with his son, but he's like, you know what? I'm actually just going to take your grace when like, so because when Jack finds out, um, he, like, he just doesn't care what Lucifer has to say, so Lucifer's just done with his own son, so he ends up taking Jack's grace. Very important. So then, um, in an effort to defeat Lucifer, now that he's all powered up and he's pretty much promising to start the apocalypse again, Dean says yes to, um, uh, Bizarro World uh, Michael. He's like, I am your perfect vessel, I am your sword, and if you, and if I say yes to you, you can defeat this Lucifer. And, um, so he says yes. And so that's pretty much so that Michael ends up killing Lucifer. And then Lucifer is not gone, but Michael is not letting go of Dean. And that's where we end season 14. Jack is without a grace. I mean, season 13. Jack is without a grace. M Mary is back and Dean is now Michael. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go on to season 14. <laughs> Those to watch for season 14 are episodes 1, episodes 11, episodes 13, episode 17, episode 19, episode 20. I know those are a lot of episodes, but while you're waiting for your next Supernatural uh, episode that it comes out every week, um, you can definitely go back and watch it because these are essential <laughs> for season 15. All right, so we start off with Dean, uh, with Michael. So, um, of course, Michael is full possession. He keeps Dean trapped in a room. They, uh, Sam, Dean, and ja Jack, um, and, I mean, Sam, Cass, and Jack end up finding a way into uh, Dean's mind to try and tell him, yo, you need to kick Michael out because, of course, if you're an angel, you need permission from your host to be in their body. Um, so he ends up thinking he does that, but we later find out that Michael ends up staying in his uh, vessel for a while. Um, so the reason Michael wants to cause like, the apocalypse again and wants to cause like, everything because he's like, God doesn't care about us. He doesn't care about anything. Um, he just moves on from universe to universe. He does this so he can be entertained. Definitely remember that theme that's very essential for season 15. Meanwhile, we have Jack, who's now powerless. He's actually very sick. He ends up starting to die, and he's dying because he was born to be a Nephilim and without his grace, his like cells are decomposing. So they end up going to a shaman to try and uh, power up um, uh, Jack. They say he needs uh, Archangel Grace, but it doesn't end up working. And then so like the, the cast especially pissed at the shaman. The shaman will be popping up again. Um, then we get, so then we get this, this woman who we met a while ago. She has, she teach, she knew how to like tap into her soul to like u use it as power to be an angel. So she's like, I can teach that to, um, uh, to the Nephilim. I can teach it to Jack. And so they're, they say, okay, you can, let's do that. And so, but Jack at the moment, he's already in heaven. So, um, Cass goes and gets him from heaven because of course he's heartbroken. He's like the son that he's never had. He, he's pretty much raised Jack. He goes to heaven and there in heaven, we meet the nothing and the nothing. And he strikes a deal with the nothing. And the nothing is like, you know what? You were supposed to be mine. He was like, I'll go with you right now if you let Jack live, you know, um, because he could, because right now in heaven and you can technically fight because he's technically half human, half angel so the angel aspect of him should go to the nothing but since he is human he should be in heaven so it's just like that thing and so he's like i'll go with you but so nothing's like no what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take you when you least expect it when you're the happiest and you completely forget about this deal now <laughs> so far season 15 has not discussed this so i hope that they don't do this to my poor cast but yeah so that's definitely one of my theories that might happen to cast i hope it doesn't happen because i'll be heartbroken anyways he ends up rescuing jack and telling him to tap into his soul to do this but they're like you will still be powerless you can't use any of your usual powers that you did before um what you were human 
extenuating circumstances, Jack's but through extenuating circumstances, Jack still kind of like goes and uses his power, especially when Michael finally breaks free in Dean's mind. Um, so Michael never actually left Dean's mind. He actually um, is it um, actually is about to come out. So Jack uses his power to take all of Michael's grace, but because he used all his power, he ends up draining his soul. So now we have a soulless Jack. Um, and we all know how well the story for a soulless Sam ended. <laughs> now that we have a soulless Jack, he ends up doing a lot of things. Um, uh, one of them, he ends up killing Lucifer's vessel at this point because he's just tired of- because Lucifer's vessel ends up trying to bring back Lucifer for some insane reason. He's like, I want to be powerful again. Anyways, he ends up killing, uh, Lucifer's vessel. Mary gets worried. So when Mary gets worried, um, he ends up killing Mary, but by accident. He just kind of loses control of his powers for a minute. So, of course, when the boys find this out, Dean is beyond pissed. He's like, how could you kill our mom? Which is understandable. Sam just wants to talk to to Jack. And I've got to give this one to, to Sam. I'm like, all right, Sam. I, I give you that one. I'll give you that one. Anyways, Cass is heartbroken. So, pretty much, Dean wants to kill Jack. So, that's pretty much the whole thing. Jack is just running away. He even goes up to heaven, makes more angels. I don't know if that's ever going to become prevalent again, but I'm just letting you guys know. He makes more angels up in heaven. And he's just trying to navigate to the world uh, and trying to figure out what's right and wrong. Eventually, uh, uh, Dean's like, I don't know how to kill this Nephilim, so what we're going to do is we're going to trap it into this box. Because when uh, Dean was Michael, he ends up creating this box that would lock Michael up and keep him there for eternity. Um, but unable to use his powers. Of course, it never ends up happening because uh, Jack ends up destroying him. So they're like, we can put Jack in the box. So they... <laughs> I had to. So they put... So they do put Jack in the box with Jack when he finds out... When he kind of, like, talks himself into believing that they're actually never planning to let him out of the box. Um, he ends up destroying the box, going crazy, even going off as crazy to say to tell everyone, like, hey, no more lying. And so... Uh, so the whole universe cannot lie anymore. So then God appears. He's like, yeah, because Cass ends up praying to God. He's getting talking to God. So he's like, yeah. So he's caused cut in enough destruction because without lying, yeah, there's just a lot of chaos. And so what I'm going to do, we're going to have to kill him. And so Deems, of course, is here for it. So God creates this gun called the Equalizer. And he's like, whatever you do with this gun will happen. So you don't actually shoot bullets. You shoot like you're part of yourself, essentially. And so... Um, so at this point, uh, both Sam and Cass are starting to question God. They're like, wait, why don't you just create, give just Jack his soul back? Why do we have to kill him? He's like, well, it's just the best. It, souls are very complicated, even for me. Eventually, Sam starts realizing that God is enjoying this, that God has been creating these universes. And he's like, wait, Michael once said that you move on from world to world until you're bored. Are we like a TV show to you? And so eventually it gets to the point where, um, Dean is about to shoot, um, Jack, because Jack, even he kind of, he's going to let it happen because he just feels like it's worth it. And then he does it. And so God is pissed. He's like, wait, what? Why you shoot him? And so, of course, is when they realize, wait, are you enjoying this? Do you want this to happen? Like, what is going on? And so eventually, now that they've kind of figured out God's plan, God's pissed. He's like, you know what? I'm going to actually destroy all of you. He ends up opening, like, making a hole in hell. Remember, it's not actually opening the door to hell. It's just opening a hole, kind of come into contact later on. And so... Um, so then, um, so then Sam ends up shooting God with the gun, remember that as well, and then, of course, God kills Jack, and so then, after that, all the ghosts are out, so we see old ghosts that Sam and Dean have killed, including the woman in white, as well as Bloody Mary, uh, popping out from the, under there, also, at the end of the so we see Jack in the empty, and so... That's where uh, season 14 ends. All right, so thank you for watching Resident Evil Channel. channel. Uh, season 15 will be uploaded with this recap, so definitely go check that out. Uh, I'm doing all the way up to the last episode before the premiere of Supernatural. All right, thank you for watching. <laughs>